our scripture verses. I want to look at verses 17 and 21 to draw a message for today. Romans chapter 12, verses 17 through 21. They read, Recompense to no man evil for evil, the five things I in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lie, then you live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. I want to talk to you on the subject, let there be peace in the valley. Mm-hmm. Let there be peace in the valley. Let your neighbor tell your neighbor, neighbor, let there be peace <coughs> in the valley. Hey, friend or neighbor, I'll look at you. Let there be peace <laughs> in the valley. In the valley. <laughs> Today is the first Sunday in the brand new year. The year is 2015. We have been blessed by God Almighty to see another year that we have never seen before. Amen. We have been given a brand new opportunity to wipe the slate clean for the year 2014 and to start anew. We ought to resolve within ourselves to make this year the best year of our life. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Many who were here this time last year have been called on to a new destination and a new place. That's why we're thankful to God for just another opportunity to be able to give God some glory and to praise the Lord for who he is. Amen. God has been so good to us, and his mercy has endured to all generations. Look at me and look at you, and you'll see a miracle. Amen. A miracle performed by God the Father. For God has allowed us to be able to be strong and to look and to be able to come and see a brand new year. Church, this is a new year. Yes, it is. It's only because of God's grace and mercy that you are who you are, that you are where you are. Thusly, you have a golden opportunity from this point forward to get right with God, mm. if you haven't done it already. Mm-hmm. Today the Lord is saying to his man's servant, uh-huh, let there be peace in the valley. Well, what am I trying to say? I, I'm trying to tell the church on this Sunday morning uh-huh, that God wants us to learn how to treat each other a little better this year. Amen. He wants us to learn how to love each other with the love of Jesus. Uh-huh, he wants us to learn how to love each other. Uh-huh, and he told the scribe uh-huh, uh-huh, in Mark chapter 12, in verses 29 through 31, Jesus uh, told him, the Lord our God is one Lord, mm-hmm. and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like namely that thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. If the Lord said it, church, I believe it. Mm-hmm. And that settles the argument. Jesus said, love your God with all your might Mm -hmm. and strength. And love your neighbors as yourself. Can I get a witness to that? Uh Uh So let there be peace in the valley. Let there be peace in the valley. You see, this is a new year and a new chance. And folks will be making all kinds of resolutions for the new year. You know you're going to do it because I'm going to do it also. Some want to lose weight. Some want to stop drinking, and some want to stop smoking, and some want to stop cursing, and some want to stop running in the streets all night long. And yet there are others who want to exercise and want to eat better and to live a more healthier life. And I submit to you today that all these are good things to do. They are good goals to have, but you've got to get right on the inside first and get the Lord on the inside, and then you can feel better. And and do better. And know in your mind that if something happens, you can go to heaven and be with the Lord. Right. Am I right about it? Yeah. And so I will submit to you today, church, that the Lord is here right now. Mm-hmm. And that he wants us to understand that it's Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Yeah. 
There ought to be a change in our lives. Yes. Jesus cleansing us with the shed blood on Calvary's cross. Uh-huh. And then he fills us with the Holy Spirit. Uh-huh. And then he renews us and gives us another chance so that those goals just won't be empty goals. But there will be goals that we can reach and bring to fruition. Amen. And they can blossom into reality. Uh-huh. You see, you will never change permanently until you get God on the inside Amen. to change you and make you all right. Because the same thing you're saying this year, you'll be saying it again next year. Yeah. If you don't get the Lord on your side. And so and so I don't want to make resolutions that I cannot keep and cannot make and cannot be able to fulfill unless the Lord do them for me. Uh-huh. If we're going to resolve to do anything in 2015, we ought to resolve to love God more. Amen. We ought to resolve to love God more. Yeah. And to love our neighbors as ourselves. Yeah. And to act better in a more godly fashion. Yeah. I know I'm not perfect and you're not also. Uh -huh, but God can make us whole Amen. if we just turn to Jesus. Yes. Uh -huh, he will transform the Christian and renew us day by day. And that's why I asked the church today, let there be peace in the valley. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. We as Christians love to be able to rejoice in the goodness of the Lord. We love to worship God and praise Him uh -huh, for all His goodness. We come to church every Sunday to exhort our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Look at what we do. We do the holy dance. And some of us run down the aisles and some of us strip over the pews. For our case, we jump over the chair. Uh -huh. We enjoy ourselves in the Lord. We're on a spiritual high every Sunday. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We are for a moment exalted into the heavenly. We can corporately praise God and worship his name. Are you with me? Yeah. But when the church service is over, when the music stops playing, and when the choir puts the last note on the tune, and the pastor has preached his last sermon and deacons are not done praying. Uh -huh. We've got to come down from the mountaintop All right. and get the work in the valley. All right. You see, in the valley there is much work to be done. Yes, sir. In the valley there are people who need help. Yes. In, the valley, in the valley there is a reality of life to face. Right. And that reality is that God desires his people uh -huh, to love one another. And to love your neighbors as yourself. Yeah. Someone said, I love me some me. <laughs> but that's not God's way. <laughs> because God said, love your neighbor. Yeah. Can I write about it? Amen. Uh, and so you should love yourself secondly. But he said, I want you to love God first. Yeah. With all your might and all your soul. Uh -huh, and your neighbor as, as, as yourself. He wants us to care for one another. Mm -hmm. We are to be our brother's keeper. Yeah. We may not think that we should be our brother's keeper, but we are to be our brother's keeper. Yeah. And when someone needs encouragement, they ought to be able to come to you and get some. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. And see, and see, and so when one member of the body hurts, we all should hurt. Yeah. Because there are many members, what, what, but one body in Christ. Yeah. That's Romans 12 and 4. What am I, why am I saying all of this? Well, I'm saying this because God wants his people to learn how to love one another. Yeah. Even if our brother or sister has harmed us and done us wrong, we are still to love them as Christ loves us. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. uh-huh. Let there be peace in the valley. Uh-huh. Who wants to come to church? Uh-huh. When all that's going on is fighting and maneuvering right. and backbiting right. and gossip right. and major confusion. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. If we can't find peace on our jobs where the boss is always acting ugly, <laughs> if we can't find peace at home where husband and wife sometimes fight and mm. children and parents can't get along, uh -huh. we ought to be able to find peace in the church of the living God. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. In Romans chapter 12, Paul the Apostle uh -huh, pins down for the Christians in Romans for all who read this great epistle and gives us the godly principles and precepts that we need to be able to live a righteous and holy life before God. And this epistle shows us how we are to be responsible to other Christians 
and to the world at large. And so in chapter 12 of the book of Romans, verse 17, the apostle Paul says simply, recompense to no man evil for evil. He says, I don't want you to try to pay back anybody because that's not your job. I don't want you to try and get anybody back because they may have done you wrong or may have said something that you didn't like and you were ready to punch them in their face. But God says, uh-uh, you're not the one to do the punching. He said, because I got the mighty arm that can do more damage than anything you can do. Right. Because God has a way of getting things straight. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. Things are uh -huh, more power than we have. We, yeah. we think we can do things on our own now yeah. and do the work of the Lord. But the Lord says, I, 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 I don't want you to recompense evil to anybody. Right. But what I want you to do is provide things honest right. in the sight of all men. Yeah. What did someone say? Honesty is what the best yeah. policy is. Yeah, uh -huh. honestly, it will take you a long way. No use to trying to be a crafty as a fox and, mm. and trying to get over on people all the time. But you ought to be honest yeah. in the sight of men. Yeah. Why am I being honest in the sight of men? Because I want to be honest in the sight of God. Right. God is the one I really want to please. Mm. And so how do I please God? I please God by pleasing others. I please God by helping others. I please God by being a help to someone else who needs a hand sometimes. Amen. By being a shoulder that someone can cry on when they need to cry in that time of trouble. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, uh -huh. Look at 18. He says, if it be possible. Stay with it. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, mm -hmm. live peaceably with all men mm -hmm. and with all women. Mm -hmm. If it be possible, now catch it. As much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Mm -hmm. We've got to have a spirit of peace in our hearts. And that spirit only comes by having Jesus on the inside. Mm -hmm. Without Christ, there is no peace. Are you with me today? Amen. Without Christ in our lives, there is no joy. Amen. Without Christ in our lives, there is no love of God. Amen. Because we in ourselves are just enemies to God. Mm -hmm. And we in ourselves are not able to make it without the help of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. But when Jesus gets on the inside and starts to churn in you from the inside mm -hmm. and makes you new and cleanse you, then you are a new creature in Christ. Mm -hmm. And so when we become a new creature, old things are passed away. And behold, all things have become what? A mm -hmm. new and so now we're dealing with a new slate when we got Jesus on the inside. Mm -hmm. And so I'm so glad to know today that if I make a mistake, and if you make a mistake, all we've got to do is go back to the Lord mm -hmm. and ask for his forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And he will make it right for us. Mm -hmm. And he will make us able to do better the next time. Mm -hmm. And so I, I have determined in my life that I, I can't get it right all the time. But I know the God that can enable me to do it right. All right yeah. Because all I got to do is fall down on bending knees mm -hmm. and ask the Lord to make everything all right. Yeah. I may have made a mistake and I may have done wrong, but I'm not determined to stay right there well, uh -huh, right. And, and, and to wallow in my sins. Right. But I want to get up from where I'm at yeah. and ask the Lord to forgive me yeah. and fill me and let me go forward. Mm -hmm. And then I can go on with the love of Jesus doing what's right in the sight of, of God. Look at verse 19. Dearly beloved. We're talking about this thing now. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves. Uh-huh. Avenge not yourselves. You are not Batman or Robin. You are not Superman. Are you with me today? You're not one of the cake crusaders. Uh-huh. He said, I don't need you to avenge yourself. In other words, I don't need you to get revenge on your own. He said, but rather give place unto wrath. Why is that? For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, say it's the Lord. Somebody used to say the song, payday is coming after a while. Just hold on, payday is coming after a while. God says, vengeance. Anything got to do with vengeance, I'll take care of that. He says, I will repay, 
says the Lord. He said, I don't need you paying anybody back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know sometimes you say, I'm going to get that sucker. <laughs> I'm going to hurt him. I'm going to slap her. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm, I'm going to get him. They don't got to mess with me. They crossed the wrong line. Here you go. I didn't know. They don't know they were messing with me. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm, I'm bad. <laughs> But I learned something. God is better than you. Yeah. You got the little B by your name. And he got the big B. Because he's the baddest man in town. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. And so God is able to avenge those things that have been done wrong to you. That's why that's I can say, therefore, if thine enemy hunger, do what to him? Feed him. He says, if you if, 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 if got some enemies to show you to do, he says, if they hunger, I want you to feed them. I don't want you to, to tell them, get your own. I don't want you to tell them, because I don't like you and you don't like me, then you can suffer and you can go hungry. But he says, I want you to do it the way Christ would do it. Because Christ, <laughs> Christ did it. And we've got to do it. Because God is love. He's love. And his love emanates Oh God, from heaven above. Yeah. And so when we're able to feed our enemies, the worst person in town, then we're able to show the love of Jesus. He said, if, if we thirst, give him drink. Mm -hmm. don't, don't let him be thirsty. Huh? You got a gallon of water in your refrigerator. And a gallon of Kool-Aid in your thermos. <laughs> won't even give him a drink. They come to you and say, bro, I need a drink. I ain't talking about alcohol to drink either. <laughs> drink! Water! Drink! Do that so so good. He said, that don't you give them a drink? For, look at what happened. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. I was thinking about that. I said, my God, coals of fire. <laughs> coals of fire. You think about when you make a when you make a barbecue fire, <laughs> put those little brittles in the bottom of the barbecue pan and squirt the light and fluid on it. <laughs> Throw a match on it. Boom! <laughs> huh? Flames come out. Yeah. This is what he's talking about. He's saying yeah, he coals of fire on his head. In other words, it'll hurt him worse than it hurts you. Yeah. <laughs> to do good to someone. That don't mean you don't do good. Right. Mm -hmm. What is he teaching? He's saying that we've got to love everybody. Yeah. He's saying we've got to do good to everybody. Yeah. He's saying we've got to be peaceable with all people. He says even in the church, you've got to deal with the good and the bad. Yeah. He said let the wheat and the tare grow yeah. together. Yeah. In that day, I'll do the separating. Yeah. He didn't ask you to say, oh, she ain't right. And, she ain't right, and God knows she ain't right, and you pull him down and pull her down. No, no, no. He didn't tell you to do this. Right. We got to pray for each other. Yeah. We've got to work with each other. Yeah. Remember everybody? Right yeah. Because Jesus loves us all. Yeah. And the Lord is, is the Savior of you and of me. And so I have no right to say I'm better than you because I got saved 10 years earlier than you did. Am I right about it man? I've got the right to say I have a place in the kingdom better than yours because I drive a final car than you drive. Because I've got more money in the bank. I, I'm a greater Christian than you are. Ha ha! We all got the same rights in the household of faith. Am I right about it? You may have started early in the morning. And another man started late in the afternoon. But when payday comes, we all gonna get what he promised us. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. And so and so no use to you acting like you're somebody. Yeah. You're some great Christian. And Lord, Lord, and you are the greatest thing that ever happened since sliced bread. Huh? Because we all, we all are somebody in the household of faith. Look at verse 21. But be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. So then the classic question that's always asked, is evil stronger than good? I can answer it right here. 
It says overcome evil with good. And so that tells me that good is stronger than evil. Uh huh. That evil cannot subside where good is. Because where darkness is, all you got to do is strip a light. Amen. And light will take over. Am I right? Amen. Light will take over darkness. Turn off the light and darkness has its way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's why all things that have been done in the dark will come out in the open one day. Yeah. After a while, by and by. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. And so don't think you're getting away with anything. Uh, because God sees all things. Yeah. All things we do in darkness, the secret sins, and the things that we think that nobody else sees, God is looking right down at us. And so, I, can I leave you with something today? Keep right with God. Amen. While you still got a chance. Amen. You see, you see, you see, Jesus did not let evil overcome him. Because he overcame evil with good. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. Jesus went to the cross to pay the sins of the world. Uh -huh. We were not able to go to the cross of Calvary. Uh -huh. Because we were not uh, the Pascal Lamb. That was able to hang on the cross. Jesus hung, bled, and died for us. Yes. Uh huh. He, he gave his life a ransom for our sins. Yes. I'm so grateful today that the Lord Jesus Christ has done great things for us. Yes. If it had not been for Jesus, where yes. would we be? Yes. Someone said it earlier would be like a ship without a sail. Well, yes. We'd be riding on the ocean and can't get our way. But look at here, here comes the captain, the man named Jesus. Mount Zion, he is not lost because the captain is still on board. Are you with me today? King Jesus is still in the driver's seat. All we've got to do is say, Lord, have your way. Lord, direct us. And everything will be all right. We cannot give up because things bad happen in our lives. We cannot give in because we don't understand what's promised to us for tomorrow. Right. But we know that Jesus, Jesus. that Jesus Christ, yes. my God, will never leave us. Right. That Jesus Christ mm -hmm. will never forsake us. Yes. That Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is always there with us. Yes, All we got to do is call on the Lord. Yes. Uh -huh. Go down and pray. Yes. And ask the Lord to help us make it. You see, Jesus died that we, like Mike Lee, mm -hmm. he died yes. that we might have a right to the tree of life. Yeah. He died. Yeah. Oh my God, till the sun stop shining. Yeah. Am I right about it? He died. Yeah. Uh-huh, until the folk uh, in the grave got up and walked through the streets of Jerusalem. Yes, he, yes, he did. Yes. He died. Yeah. My God, my God, until the veil in the temple was rent from the top to the bottom. Mm -hmm. He died. He died. My God, his blood came streaming down. Mm -hmm. Took him off the cross and mm -hmm. placed him in Joseph's barred new tomb. Uh -huh. But early one Sunday morning, yeah, yeah. he got up with all power, oh, power. in his hand. Yeah. Mama didn't do it. All right. Daddy didn't do it. All right, yeah. Sister couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. And brother wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Preacher couldn't preach it. Mm -hmm. Deacon couldn't say it. Mm -hmm. Missionary couldn't pray it. Right. But Jesus, 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 Jesus got up yeah. with all power, all power in his hand. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. He died on the cross for you and for me. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Jesus Christ, yes sir, gave his life a ransom for us. For sin committed by Adam and Eve in the garden way back in that year. Uh -huh. You see, Jesus is a peacemaker. Mm -hmm. He is not a troublemaker. Uh -huh. Jesus will lift you up. He will not tell you that. All right. Am I right about it? Yeah. The hymn always just said, if I be lifted up yeah. from the earth, yeah. I will draw all men all unto me. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus will pick you up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. He'll pick you up yeah. when yeah. others put you down. Yeah. Can I get a witness again? Yeah. Yeah. When folks betray you mm -hmm. and call you everything but a child of God, oh, yeah. the Lord Jesus, yeah. Yeah. We'll make everything all right. Yeah. He is a savior yeah. who saves from the guttermost yeah. to the uttermost. Yeah. Jesus cares. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. Let there be peace yeah. in the valley. Yeah. God has been so good to you. And God has been so good to me. Yeah. I want to ask you just one question. Yeah. Did he wake you up early this morning? Yeah. Can I ask a second question? Yeah. Did he start 
got you on your way. Yes. I want to ask the third question. Right. Has it been good to you? Yes. Your answer ought to be yes. yes. I want to ask the fourth question. Right. Can you give God some praise? Yes. Every once in a while. Yes. Can I ask the fifth question? Can you give him your feet and just say thank you Lord thank for you, a Lord. brand new year? Thank Can you, I ask the sixth question? Can you give God glory? Yes.
been in the church all your life, you've never been saved. You die today, day you know you end up in the lake of fire. For it comes. Would you stand with us today? Is that one who don't have a church home? Won't you come? Come by letter. Carry for baptism, Christian experience, whatever your pleasure is. You can come. Jesus is waiting on you. We'll receive you right now. Yes, Lord. You may be seated. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yeah.